Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this look here. Perfect for many different style Halloween costumes. To get started with today's look, I'm going to prime my face, then apply my foundation on all over to give a nice even skin tone and base to work off of. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more coverage on the under eye area and any problem areas using my concealer. Then lightly contour my cheekbones, jawline, forehead, and nose. Then I'm gonna set everything with my powder, apply my brows, and move on to the actual fun part of this look. Everything used in today's video will be listed down below to shop, so you can click on the link directly there. I'll also have more information and discount codes available for you guys if you're interested. You can certainly freehand this look, but for today I decided to use some tape. So I'm just gonna cut off four pieces of tape and create a triangular shape, sort of like a winged cat eye, using tape on top and bottom of each eye. This is gonna give a really precise, sharp edge and point and just help to make sure that my lines are even. Then using my black eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this on my lid and right into that triangular shape to create that wing. I am applying the black with a heavier hand and more opaque on the wing area and lightly tapering it into the lid to be a slow fade to the inner corner. I do also bring this down on the lower lash line about three quarters of the way in. Then I'm going to apply my liquid glitter. So I'm actually gonna use a couple different ones to get the look I'm going for, but I'm gonna place this directly over the black eyeshadow we already applied, applying this in layers to really build this up. Then I'm going to remove the tape that we used as a border and just take a really tiny brush and lightly smudge out the edges. I just wanted to blend these a bit more. If you wanna leave them super crisp, that's up to you. Another fun trick with the tape is if you do have too much glitter fallout, you can just use the tape and lightly press it against your skin, any area you wanna pick up the fallout or excess glitter. Then I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe and gently clean off under my brow to really lighten and brighten that area. Again, also just to help remove any excess black shadow or shimmer that may be there. Then using my concealer and a small brush, just applying that over top for any cleanup. Then to darken the inner lash line or waterline, I'm using a cream eyeliner and a very small brush, corner to corner on the top and about three quarters of the way in again on bottom. Then applying mascara on top and bottom and false lashes on top. I couldn't decide what lip color I wanted to do at first, so I did start off with a nude. I do end up changing it by the end of this video, but that's up to you. Now to create the spiderweb detail, I'm using a black face paint and a very small brush. You could also use a black liquid eyeliner. And I just applied this on one eye, working off of that thick winged eyeliner. You could apply this same design on both eyes or if you want it more subtle, you can leave it under one like I did. So I decided I wanted to add a little bit more drama to this look, so I changed the lip color from nude to black. So I'm just gonna take my black lip and apply that right over top. I thought this look was so fun. It's actually super easy to recreate. And again, you could use it for many different style costumes. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. I have also started a TikTok, so be sure to follow me there as well. If you guys have any requests for me, be sure to comment that down below. As always, thank you guys so much for all your support and watching my channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.